Today, homeless organizations held their annual count for Dothan. The goal of the count is to put the necessary plans in place to end homelessness in the Circle City. WDHN's Robert Smith has a story. Here, the Southeast Alabama Coalition for Homeless teams up with the Alabama Rural Coalition to perform the point in time count within the city limits. It gives us accurate number of how many homeless might be in the area, and so that affects our funding for the year, for next year. So these numbers will go to Montgomery, and then uh, they'll figure out what kind of programs, what kind of funding we need for what kind of programs to end unwanted homelessness. Last year, the count was totaling around 600, but now the number has been cut in half, which could be due to these organizations bringing homeless individuals out of troubled waters, moving away, or finding temporary housing. Tommy Davis and his wife were included in the count as they have been living at the Red Roof Inn for four months. We had a bad, bad landlord. Um, we had we won an, won an eviction over her and, and beat her in court, but still she ended up putting us out. But thanks to Arch and Siege collaborative efforts, they have a roof over their heads and also food to eat. The Mama Tina's Mission House, who provides for the homeless and those in need, deliver meals to those being counted all over the city of Dothan. Davis and others in this situation, or perhaps worse, are thankful for the organizations in the count caring enough about them. Extremely thankful. This has probably been the most important thing in our lives in the last since our child, since our kids were born. Uh, they got us off the street, what can I say? We don't want to be crutches. We don't want to enable people. We want to change people and have them change their lives and move forward. So hopefully this will give us a better idea of what's needed, <laughs> what programs need to be instituted to make that happen. Reporting in Dothan, Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrass. And as a reminder, for those who may know of someone in need of a warm place to stay this weekend during cold temperatures, the Greater Expectations Ministries in Dothan is open. Alabama 